Hi guys, welcome back. I am in my craft room and I'm going to explain to you what happened. Okay, so I was working on this dollhouse a miniature fireplace, remember? And I was using the packaging from this really beautiful bottle of this perfume that I really don't like. Um, <laughs> it's a beautiful bottle that I think I might empty it and just keep the bottle because the bottle is just beautiful and it's my favorite color green and maybe refill it with something else you know um but i had gotten a dollhouse uh cobbler co cobblestone cobblestone um town or whatever from the dollar tree all these little pieces from the miniature christmas thing and i was trying to tacky glue all this stuff on here okay on this packaging for this fireplace that i was creating and it just didn't work so I'm going to have to do hot glue, but first I'm going to have to reinforce this top, this top part because it's just too flimsy. It keeps buckling. Look at that. You see how it buckled? Look at that. You see how it buckles? It keeps buckling. So we're going to take care of this first. And I do have a new hot glue gun um, from Elmer's uh, High Temp. I got this from um, Amazon because I had some Dollar Tree glue guns, right? And Dollar Tree came out, well, this thing came out from Dollar Tree stating, okay, it's not warm enough yet, okay. This thing um, came out stating, uh, oh, now it's coming out, okay, that they were not safe. So, uh, yeah, so I went and threw mines away and ordered this one from Amazon. So there's my story on that. Now we're just going to reinforce this. As you can tell, I'm just holding it, holding it, holding it. And maybe I should use my scissors and try to hold it right there. Because I really needed that reinforcement. It just kept buckling. So as you can see, it's working out just fine. And it was already a pre-cut piece. I didn't even have to cut it for measurement. It just worked out great. Okay, so now... It's nice and sturdy. Yay! Now let's see if this is going to work. This is the top piece. Do you see all that glue? That was from tacky glue and stuff. It didn't work. Let's see if it works with this. I don't know if it's going to work, you guys. We're going to try. Okay, we're going to try. We're going to do step by step. Okay, let me get... Man, these glue sticks go very quickly through this. Huh. Okay. I know it's a little, very gluey, but I'd rather it be gluey than not gluey. Because I really need it to stick. Okay. Very good. So far, so good. It's sticking. It is warm to the touch, so be very careful, especially if you got spillage like me. I am a spiller. And actually, let me see if I can get some of this hot glue stuff up. I don't want it to be there when I connect the other piece. Okay. Okay, it's sticking now, you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and keep on doing this little by little. I don't know if you can see me or not, but I'm going to continue to try to glue little by little. I'm going to try to get the edges here, that edge, which is important. I know I'm like shaky this morning. It's so weird. Sometimes I have good days. Sometimes I have bad days. And today is a definite shaky day for me. I did have coffee. Maybe it's the coffee. Okay. So now I'm going to lay it down as flat as possible. I'm not supposed to lay it down like that, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, it's it's definitely sticking. And then let's get this side down. Okay. So sometimes hot glue is just unnecessary. I just didn't want to use my hot glue guns from the Dollar Tree because they were like supposed to have been bad news you know and I didn't want to have no issues I know it's like a one 
one in a million chance for something weird to happen, but you know, you'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay. So this is actually sticking very, very nicely. <gasps> da, 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 da. Yeah, baby. Now in here, if you, if this is your first time stopping in, I did use the brick. Can you tell that's brick? Yeah. So I used the brick, the brick um, stuff from the Dollar Tree. Now what I did here is I got another piece here and I outlined, drew, whatever you want to call it. Let me move that over. Okay. Outline drew um, the template for this whole bottom piece. So hopefully I did it okay. I'm going to cut it out with you. I don't know if I did it good or not, you guys. I don't know. But we're going to figure it out together. We're going to figure this out one. Yeah, baby, figure it out. Okay, now I'm going to cut it from right here. I didn't do the side piece here. But, okay. Then I did the little opening. You see that? The drawing with the, I know, green pen. It's my favorite color, green. I should have used blue or something so you can see it better. Sometimes I am just not thinking. I just don't know. Now, I know it's, it's going to look a little wonky, I think, but we can always dry fit it. <laughs> don't you love that word? Let's dry fit. Dry fit it, guys. Just dry fit it. Okay, I'm trying to dry fit. And to me, it looks a little wonky. Yeah, it looks a little wonky to me. Let me try to fix it just a little here. Because once it's on there, it's going to be a little bit harder to try to make it look good. You know what I'm saying? If it's like wonky. Because it's stone, it really shouldn't, at least faux stone, it really shouldn't be such a big deal because you can, you know, add like a different look or something to it to give it the look that you need. I do see I have a small problem right here. This piece is buckling. So I'm going to need to reinforce this piece right here. And I'm going to do it with two pieces. Just to give it a little strength. And this came off of the same packaging. So we are definitely having some buckleage issues here. And we're going to... Give it the necessary strength it needs so it won't buckle there we go and then i'll just cut it off there at the edge make sure i know what i'm doing can you guys see what i'm doing i don't even know i don't have any of these like really fancy um cool licking type daily camera things i use my cell phone Okay, so I'm going to go ahead because I'm feeling pretty good about it, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and go crazy and um, hot glue this piece. Well, you know what? I think I might want to hot glue that piece a little bit like bigger so it'll connect and it'll connect better. Let me see if I have another cardboard piece laying around here because I want it to be cardboard. Okay, I do have cardboard. I have cardboard, but I really wanted a thinner. I really wanted a thinner cardboard. <sighs> Something that can bend more easily. That's not going to work. That one right there is not going to work for me. Are you guys doing anything in your craft room? Are we crafting together? No, seriously, are we crafting together? Let me know. Write it down below. Tell me if you're going to do anything special for yourself today that relaxes you, woodworking, you know, macrame, sewing, crocheting, whatever your jam is. Let me know. Card making, journaling, you know, Bible study, whatever it is that relaxes you. Let me know down there below. So what I think I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to go ahead and just screw it and connect it here without the backing. If I really need to get the backing, then you know what I'm saying? We'll work with it. We'll work with it. So let's do this right there. Okay, I want to make sure it's actually connecting because with the other pieces I'm going to add, it'll give it a little bit more reinforcement. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, baby. Hot glue on the fingers. My life is complete. All right. Okay, there you go. I connected it. And now I'm going to try to do this portion of it. So let's start over here. I'm going to try not to over glue so it doesn't spill over too much per se. Okay. And let's get it on there before it dries. I'm going to try to line it up the best that I can. It's okay if it's a little long on the bottom because you could trim off the bottom very easily. Now, trimming off the top is a little bit more of a challenge. Because see, it's a little long here at the bottom, but we could just trim that. That's easy. Okay. I see I'm going to need some more. See how it's loose right here? It didn't really connect. Okay. So let's connect that. We want all this to connect. Ooh, that's hot, honey. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Okay, so far so good. Let's keep going. If you're making a fireplace along with me, cool. Let me know what you're doing. And I'm gonna try to, I think I'm gonna need a glue stick already. I've gone through like two glue sticks already. Crazy. Okay, so we've done two glue sticks, and I'm trying to stretch it out, so it'll adhere nicely. Here we go. Okay. And get those glue, the glue stuff off of there. See, I have some glue from before right there, I think. I need to add some more right here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then let's do the side. Let me get another glue stick in here, or at least near me. And going through glue sticks is crazy how, how fast you can go through a glue stick. That's why I like the fact that the Dollar Tree has glue sticks because I'm trying to tell you, it can get really expensive going through glue sticks and they're not cheap. They are not cheap. And when you want to get your craft on, I mean, it's important to have your glue stick situation, you know, figured out. Okay. Now, I'm having some overlapping issues here. It's like a little taller on that side. <gasps> and I'm like a little short over here. No! You guys, I'm a little short, but maybe I could just use a little black marker or something. Something for that little... Do you see that? I know. And it overlapped over here. Look at that. I don't want to cut it though. I don't want to cut it. Okay, let's get some of these glue things off that's driving me nuts. Okay, so here we go. Now, I'm going to look at it because you know me, I always start going in one direction and I end up going in a whole different direction. It is a little tall over here. This is what I was talking about. It's better that it's longer at the bottom versus the top because if it's longer on the top then normally you got issues okay let me see if I can try to 
I don't want to make it look wonky. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Ooh, my glue gun. My glue gun has a life of its own. I'm trying to cut around, you guys. Uh, the thing that I said don't do, I ended up doing. I know. This is all learning experience for me, too. So we're in it. We're in it together, honey. Okay. So I was able to trim it. It looks better. Is it a good trim? Is it exactly the way I want to see it? Maybe not, but, you know, that's okay. This is a DIY, honey. Make it the way you want. It's unique and it's totally you. I'm just trimming off all the edges here. And looking at my <sighs> kind of sort of, I can see where it's like a little wonky right here. But I don't know if I really want to cut it much more. But I just did. So, <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do, it's not going to be perfect, you guys. Come on, give me a break. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. The next thing we're going to do is, maybe I can use some of this packaging from that perfume. These little pieces here on the sides to give me what I need. Is it going to be long enough? Uh, no. Okay, well, I'm going to cut into this then. Well, let me cut into this tall, long piece up here. And see if I can use this tall piece for anything. Still a little bit too short. I just didn't want to cut into the actual design, but I think we're going to have to. So let's go ahead and cut into the, the pretty design. I was going to try to use this for something else. I still can. I got plenty of the box that I can play around with. Okay. So now we're going to cut a piece here at the top. Hmm. There's still a piece up here that's kind of like on the loose side, but... And it needs to be trimmed too, I see. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I'm just going to start cutting. Okay. Will it be perfect? No. No, it's not going to be perfect. But. But. It will be custom made by you. Unique designer made. All right. So I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting, t -t -t I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Okay. So I like that. There on the top. I mean, obviously not that, you know, I want to make it look more like a faux wood. I do have some faux wood papers and faux wood tape. Question is, where do I have it? Now that's going to be the next stage. So I'm going to let this cure. Then I'm going to be back and I'm going to try to find my faux wood pieces. I'm going to have to go through my, um, through my stash and look through my stuff. Well, actually I have that faux wood right there that, but I don't want that color. I don't think I don't want the color. I wanted it to be more like a mahogany type of faux wood or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to keep my cut pieces. This is where we're at so far. I'm really feeling it. It's going to look really cute once it's finished. Um, you can always try to finish the backside as well. But normally I kind of leave the backside as is so people can realize it was, you know, made by hand. 
and it was made by recyclables, which is always a cool thing to do. So there you go. So I will be back again um, after I let this cure and let this rest and I put my mind to what I want to use. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.